The Dubai Sevens final, New Zealand against Australia for the 19th time in an HSBC Seven Series Cup final. Off the boot of Tyler Nathan Wong, we are underway. It'll be Shani Williams who will soar to bring this down. And a couple of the veterans, we talk so much about the young stars, but the veterans come together early, Williams and Brazier. Here's a nice start for Australia, just busting straight down the middle of the field. Dragged down by the skin of her teeth with Soraya Pucky in the end, but it's quick ball for Lefout Fakul Salia. Here's Ashby, the apprentice, as Tiana mentioned, Williams. Australia surge early on. Step from Ashby, good shot tackle from Pauli Lane, and at least sitting offside there, but it's a penalty end. offside for Felix Hotham. Couldn't resist. Well, an exciting passage of play straight away. Sarai Pucky with a nice break midfield, but quick tap, they go Australia. And go Shani Williams crashing over. The perfect start for Australia in the final. And it comes from the quick tempo that they play with, Ricky. They love to play quick. They know they've got the fitness and the skill to back it as well. So the quick tap there off the back of some awesome work from the likes of Sarai Pucky initially to break up the midfield, get them good field position, and the reaction time from the all-experienced former skipper, Shani Williams. How good. Williams will convert, and it's a perfect 90 seconds for Australia to get their game rolling in a 7-0 lead in the final. There it is there, the quick tap from Australia, 41% of their tries, which has been so exciting, but they go to kick deep here tactically. So it's in the hands of Reese Baldy Lane, who's taken on a big shift for New Zealand once again this weekend. Nathan Wong, the captain. Felix Hotham looks to accelerate through the gap and lays it back. Look at that good counter ruck almost there for Williams, but... Nathan Wong was able to clear his, the 18-year-old Miller, an early ball for Blyde. Blyde on Faith Nathan. Instead, it's Le Soraya Pucky. She got away from and then got away from the rest of them. Maddie Levi steaming across the field. Blyde has a little look. Is she going to back herself in? It's a heck of a chase from Levi, but a wonderful effort again from Michaela Blyde to go coast to coast. Wow, I'm speechless. It's a game of cat and mouse early on in this cup final, Ricky. But we spoke about it pre-game, the match up there on the edge is Michaela Blyde v Faith Nathan. And Michaela Blyde, all the experience, too strong up top. And look at how well balanced she is. She's got low center of gravity. Just stays on her feet, fends off Sarai Pucky and Faith Nathan. But what about the chase from the opposite side of the field? Matty Levi, I'd love to see the GPS data on that. Eating up those meters and Blyde knew it too. Levi, we talk so much about her attack. Defensively, she didn't make the stop in the end, but boy, Blyde had eyes on it. Just racking up tries this season and last, Michaela Blyde. Scary when you come up against a team that's got Maddie Levi on one edge, Faith Nathan on the other. <laughs> Just threatening all over the field. Maddie Levi has scored hat-tricks in their last two appearances against New Zealand. It's not going to go 10 metres, so a mistake from Nathan Wong. Not tap. Okay. And that'll allow Australia to do what they love to do, tap from halfway and go. Yeah, and we saw how dangerous they've been today, especially. You watch Charlotte Kazik in particular just weighing up her options in front. New Zealand, though, <coughs> they're aware of how dangerous Australia are off their set piece. So the key is not to bite here. To stay woman on woman. Kaslik does tap for Maddie Ashby looking to open up a hole. Williams had made the run. It's beautifully manipulated by Australia. And now here's Faith Nathan. Every team's got to have a little faith. And when you've got Nathan in your side, still. you're likely going to score again. Well, they've got Faith all right. They've come out the blocks firing in this cup final in the desert. And I just spoke about it. Charlotte Kaslik looking for someone to bite in the defensive line. And that's exactly what she got. And it opened up that space. But the link up, as we said, master and apprentice, Maddie Ashby, Charlotte Kaslik, so silky. Alicia Lafalfako Silea, the skill from her as well. She's been excellent in terms of her try assist this weekend. And Faith Nathan, silky finisher, all class from Australia. So this one scored out wide, and that's Shani Williams to try and convert. And that's high and hanging and hanging. And good. What a kick from Williams.
to make it 14-7. Wallamina watching on. It's going to find grass again. Australia liking this idea of just bearing it long and putting New Zealand in their, their own 22. Felix Hotham for Backwards. Kaka. Hasn't seen any action her way yet. Sheree Kaka, but she's got good footwork. Got through one, couldn't get through Williams. Miller. Poldy Lane sizes up her option and then decides just to have a little dart and finds Miller on the switch, and that's a good step off the foot, off that left foot from Georgia Miller. Recycles well. Does Australia have to track back this time? Felix Hotham likes to get sideways and then drop a little ball off for Kuckett to use that footwork around the corner. Whoa, man on here. Yeah, Kelly Brazier saw Maddie Ashby coming just in time. Miller throws a flat ball and a nice bounce for Nathan Wong. Tries to find, oh, blight clattering through Lefal Fakosalia. She's tough, though, is Alicia Lefal Fakosalia. New Zealand building phases now, making Australia's defence do some work. Oh, chopping down. That's a great tackle. Williams' ball still back laid back, though, for Brazier to clear. Georgia Miller, 18, playing in her first cup final and taking them on herself. Nathan Wong, oh, the footwork this time from Blythe. She absolutely did, Maddie Levi. Blythe gets a second. We go tit for tat in the final. Well, we speak about big moment players, and Michaela Blythe is absolutely one of them, just getting the job done herself, coming up against two world-class athletes in Faith Nathan and Maddie Levi. She'll go, I'll go one Two's better on both of you Good. and just showcase what class she is. Such a confidence player, and she's full of it at the moment, Michaela Blyde. Such a tricky athlete to defend because it's that little in and away. Sometimes she does like to cut back on your inside shoulder, which can hold you accountable there, but then the little in and away and the jink to take the outside, so impressive. Nathan Wong can't convert, so Australia go into the break. Noses in front in the final, 14-12 over New Zealand. 14-12, Australia lead. New Zealand. And backwards by goal play on. Yeah, not backwards by Levi. Did well as New Zealand just overjumped it. Oh, look at that strength of, again, Alicia Lefafakosalia. Tia Hines onto the field now for Never Australia. Here's Kaslett. Like, all oh, those two, three big passes and across the field for Soraya Pucky. Finding space for Nathan. We've seen how dangerous she is. This time stopped by Nathan Wong on the 22. Wong, Nathan Wong can't roll out of there. Got in an awkward position. Hines goes and goes quickly. Oh, there was a big gap there for Ashby. It's still there as Miller lost her foot and wide as Levi. She's going to stroll in to straight, straight after the break. And this is how dangerous they are with the ball in hand, Australia. You've got Alicia Lafalfakosilia who takes on the line, draws in a few defenders because of how much power she has. And you've got the likes of Maddie Ashby, the playmaker, who's just so deceptive and so light on her feet, creates that space, creates something out of nothing, and then slings it out to the left edge. Puts it on a platter for Maddie Ashby. All class Australia. Maddie Ashby. Well, Maddie Levi, that's 11 tries for the weekend. <laughs> Most all time. No, no. I was going to say because Maddie Ashby's been just as good. Absolutely. Maddie Levi, that's 11 tries and that's all time tries in Dubai. And look at the names on that list McAllister, Glyde, Woodman, Flula, and now this absolutely outstanding 20 year old. Hard to believe she only made her debut on the World Series last season. Rookie of the Year for 2022. And nominated for World Rugby Sevens Player of the Year. Obviously, Charlotte Kaslick coming away with that accolade. But so impressive, these youngsters in the green and gold. Again, overcooked. Oh, 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 I couldn't bring it in this time as Paulie Lane just gets <laughs> unceremoniously dropped by a teammate in the background. A little in and away and round the other side. And Felix Hotham, great tackle. Demi Hayes, the co-captain into the fray. For Australia, Niall Williams out there now for New Zealand. Brazier for Reese Poldy Lane. Throws an ugly old ball for Nathan Wong, but the bounce is kind. And it might even work out all right here for New Zealand. And Sheree Kaka going to try and take on this Australian line. Looks for some support players. There's none there and all. Just, yeah, the unlucky for Hines. Must Couldn't must resist must in the offside position. Yeah, the ball fell at her feet there. Obviously the offside. <laughs> but sometimes just that reaction time. 
19th Cup final meeting between Australia and New Zealand. Absolutely phenomenal. And both of them have now, five place. wins apiece here in Dubai, but obviously Australia coming off the back of two wins last season. They never get old either, do they? You never get tired of them. Is Nia Williams just holding on to that little ball. Here's Poldy Lane, and now Brazier with Ashby all over it. She's got like a little terrier in there, Maddie Ashby. Oh, no. Brilliant. And away she Good goes, point. New Zealand backpedalling. Ashby takes it on. Kazlik hangs on for Hayes. Nathan Wong just throwing her body around. Australia See? really pressing here if they could go ahead by two tries, two scores. We felt silly. A little bit of footwork herself this backwards. time. It's backwards. First one is backwards, second one knocked for. And then knocked on, so it'll still Some be goal. Australia's feet to the scrum. Australia playing with some really nice width and depth, That's which is forcing New Zealand to play that press defence, but you have to stick like your one-on-one -on -one tackles. And like to be fair, New Zealand have got the highest tackle completion this weekend. And only one error there from New Zealand just goes to show how clinical both of these teams are in every area of their game. There's not much in it. Okay. Let's set off first, and now time back on. One error in the entire game at this intensity, okay, this fine, cauldron. OK. Completed. OK, let's set off first. So I want to split the both sides. 14, okay. 12 Time at back half on. time. And Crouch! 19 12 with the Bye. Levi try straight after Set. half time. This is a really good attacking position for Australia here. Driving and they get a penalty good too. Driving across. Kazak taps and goes. Wants to dictate the pace of this match. Hayes. Wrapped up by Brazier. Step. Kaslik and Ashby just pulling the strings in the middle. The two of them coming together and again. Look at the offloads. Ball just flying everywhere. That pace from Australia. And they stick as well. And now space here for Kaslik. She'll have the pace on Williams. Is she going to have it on Kaka? The chase from Sheree Kaka Thank is you. good. Kaslik can go. Offload to Hayes. Hayes scores under the post. Australia stretch away. A silky passage of play there from the Aussies. And how good the co-captains linking up so well executed but it's the composure from australia with ball in hand so far 100 percent success rate with possession and just look at the way they keep the ball alive that takes so much skill especially at the pace of the game they're playing they're both playing high tempo so throwing the ball around like that sometimes can come away with some errors but kaslik so much experience and all the composure in the world there she comes to the fore on the biggest of stages does charlotte kaslik just saw that space. It was a good chase from Kaka, but couldn't quite hold it. Denny Hayes elevated to the leadership of this team post the Tokyo Olympics, and what a leader she is. And that may be the decisive score. 26-12 now, Australia lead. Oh, and that one's brought down by Tarina Tetamaki. So New Zealand really need to be the ones to score next. Nathan Wong, one way then the other, Brazier, little stutter step for Pitamaki again, drives the legs, Ashby's Ashby finished that again is she, oh, brilliant, absolutely brilliant Maddie Ashby, she has been in everything and I don't think I've ever oh, seen oh Charlotte Kids that make a drop like that. No, you don't see that happen too often but it is hot and humid out here in Dubai and fatigue may be kicking in here in the last game of Let's the go. tournament. Australia, let's go. <laughs> Two familiar faces up in the stands. Well, Stacey Flula. To be fair, Greg O'Shea looks just as nervous. <laughs> Stacey no, Flula is like seven. struggling on. Seven, she right? doesn't like watching at the best of times, and this is tough going at the moment. Australia in control of her New Zealand team. Completed. Okay, let's set up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, This is where they're good New Zealand. Stay here. Come on. Set piece. Back on. We've got eight tries from set piece, the most of any team so far Five. in Dubai. Set. Less than a minute to play now. We've got one hand on this trophy, Australia again. Unless New Zealand can do something and do it quickly. Felix Hotham in one way and out the other. Spun to ground by Eight. Levi. Williams. You can see the urgency, get that sense of urgency now. Here's Ikenasio in her first ever tournament offloads to her housemate, Niall Williams. Blyde, haven't seen her since that last strike. 
clock starting to tick down as all oh, the pressure just comes flying in for That's Australia. It'll be a penalty. Yes, Kinasio. Keep going. Now you're on. Now it's on the line. On the line, rather brazier. Tetamaki has has to put their head down. New Zealand. Time almost up in Australia. They are not missing. We step, talk step. about their attack, their defence, absolutely mm. superb. As per usual, the hooter goes. New Zealand have the ball, but Australia are going to have the title, even though Michaela Blyde is going to go in for a hat-trick in the final. It's too little too late this time. Well, she's been phenomenal, Michaela Blyde. Easily the standout player in the black go, jersey this go, weekend. Please. Nothing short of amazing, both of these oh, two God. teams. And they always put on a show. And they will celebrate again. Another richly deserved trophy in the cabin of the green and gold. These young guns with pace and power and passion. And then expertly led by their senior woman who always step up when it comes to the big show. And it is Australia who are champions in Dubai once more. They picked up where they left off last season to take it 26-19 over New Zealand.